How's it going? Not bad. Uh, I feel more rested now. I'm not as tired as I was yesterday, so there is that. Hello there, Exhaust. Hello there. You look like an NPC streamer. <laughs> Have you got the injections? No. Uh, my first injections are actually going to happen in a few hours. So that's today. Uh, I went and I got checked out by the by the doctors. They checked all my issues. They they did some uh, physical stuff to check if my body's working correctly. They pulled a few hairs out of my head, bro. Like the nurse is like, "Excuse me, sir. We're gonna pull out a few hair follicles." I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> I've only got so many left." <laughs> they pulled hairs out of my head, dude. They're gonna they're gonna they said they're gonna test the roots of the hair for like vitamin deficiencies, but yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Arepa con queso, I might try that. Wig confirmed. Why do they need the hair? They check the the actual roots of the hair for like vitamins and stuff. Probably the same way like they do dope testing. Pull the white ones, please. I, I wish I could have asked. She, she just went in, bro. She went in, she pulled like five. And uh, we have five hairs less today. More bald now? Yeah, basically. So there was that. Um, it went pretty well. The doctors were happy I speak Spanish, so I didn't have to like forced them to speak English. I got a shirt, check it out, from uh, I can't, dude, my, my, my webcam is mirrored, so I can't really read it, but it's a uh, bio accelerator in Medellin, so. We got a new shirt. So now you have proof I'm actually there. No more, no more conspiracy theories that I went to get my hair replaced. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I had the complimentary breakfast, wasn't bad, wasn't bad at all. My blood pressure was a bit high when they tested it, but I think that's because I was nervous for getting my blood pressure tested. And like, you guys ever get the thing like, they're gonna test your blood pressure and all of a sudden your, your heartbeat goes up. It's like, what, what if it goes wrong? Like, what if I get a bad result? And then I, I, I get a bad result because I'm worrying about getting a bad result. Like, it happens every, I can't, like whenever I'm gonna take a blood pressure test, my blood pressure goes up for the test because of the test. It's like, okay, grappler, calm down. It's just a blood, you know? So that, that doesn't really count. It's a bit un unfortunate. Yeah, uh, just joined the hair transplant. Looks amazing. <laughs> Did the same today at my doc's office. Always that office too. Yeah, yeah. so uh, not to be trusted. Jinxed it, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it for now. Not really much else to say. No crazy new updates. Uh, I'm going to be doing the treatments in a few hours again. The first treatment is just gonna be general. So they're gonna first give me like an IV of uh, vitamins and stuff. Then they're gonna give me an IV of like 100, I think it's 140 million stem cells. Actually, I have the, I have the itinerary here. Let me, I just can't show you guys it because it has my real name on it. I don't wanna dox myself, so I can't like show it to you. But uh, yeah, I have a special IV drip, which is session one out of two. And then I have the uh, IV stem cells being applied. So I get, I get the drip in about, what time? In, like, in like two and a half hours from now, I get the IV drip, reveal that he's 5'1", I'm not. Bro, bro, I'm actually shorter. Chat, they went to measure my height. I was shorter. I lost height, bro, like what the frick? Now, I think that's because I woke up today at uh, 4 a.m. and they checked my height at 10.30 p.m. So that means I've already been awake for six hours. So you do lose a little bit of height during that time. So it is what it is. Also, probably because of the discs. And yeah, aging is real. So yeah, actually, what 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 time is it? 11:30. So geez. Woo! I thought it was late, chat. I thought it was late for the IV drop. Like, there's no way it's 1:37. All right, 11:37. So that means in exactly two hours, a bit under two hours, I'm gonna get my special IV drip. So we're gonna get the. Uh, the vitamins. After that, we go for stem cell application. 35 minutes after that, so we get um, stem cells, 140 million into our body. After that, I get hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy. So I'm going to be lying inside this big chamber, just getting like full oxygenation. And uh, after that, there's like a patient meet and greet. I don't know if I want to go to that. I can like meet other people. Bro, this place is packed with Americans. Like, they are non-stop busy. And I've already seen one guy inside the clinic. I know I've seen him before. He's somewhere on TV. I have no idea who he is, but there was some dude in the clinic. I'm like, yeah, I've seen that face, but I, I didn't want to interrupt him. He looked kind of, uh, he looked kind of mean. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to bother him. I'm sure locals bother him enough. And I'm like, what am I going to say? Sir, 
I'm a fan. I don't know who you are, but I've seen you before like that. So. Anyway, um, I might do the patient meet and greet. I'm not sure. And uh, other than that, that's it for today. That's what I'm going to do. So then tomorrow, tomorrow I have, I have an alternative medicine consultation. So they're going to pitch me some alternative medicines on how to make me stronger. Okay. Then I have regenerative rehabilitation package, physical examination. Okay. They're going to give me some ozone therapy. Okay. Then I'm going to meet the experts. I don't know what that means. And then I talk to the anesthesiologist consultation. I guess they're going to ask for my weight, my height, uh, whatever. And then I get to do the consultation with my neurosurgeon, who's going to do all the uh, disc injections for my spine. Then I get to go to hyperbaric oxygen therapy once again to get oxygenated. Don't you bring a wig on the plane? <laughs> Alright, and then after the orientation meeting, I get the good stuff. I get 40 million stem cells in my left knee, 10 million in my right forearm, I get 20 more million in my right and left shoulders, and then I have another 10 million in my elbow. Although they said after the physical, they probably don't need to give that to my elbow. So I thought I'd just give it to my wrist because I have a, this wrist is a little bit weaker than it should be. Like it, I don't know, I've never, I've never shown you guys because like, it's not really interesting, but this wrist, I've injured it a few times and like, look at my range of motion on the wrist. I can't really bend it all the way, but like it doesn't bend that far back. See, like this is a, this is normal, right? On a normal wrist, like look at this one, it's scuffed, bro. So I said, yeah, just stick in my wrist. I'm not going to throw away 10 million stem cells. I've already paid for them. So then we have uh, cryotherapy. So that should be kind of fun. So we have some cryotherapy. Then um, the next day, we have even more. We have uh, some kind of check-in. Oh, the OR, the operating room check-in. And then we have the, the stem cells all over my spine. That's going to last a while. That's the only one I have to go like get sedated for. So that one I'm going to be sleeping for. Then we have more cryotherapy. And then we get therapeutic massage. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a better play after this. Your reaction time will go up. Absolutely. Then the next day we get our second batch of IV stem cells. We get another special IV drip, which is um, probably more vitamins. We have the discharge consultation. Another therapeutic massage and to top it off regenerate regenerative rehabilitation package physical therapy okay that's it that's it for the next five days today all the way to friday happy ending uh i i, I didn't ask hoping you find some relief and start feeling better i mean you guys know i've always felt pretty good but um i have had uh, i have a lot of injuries so maybe if this makes us uh feel great maybe we'll go back in the gym hit some new prs and uh be stronger than ever your mom chat says hi i can do that uh nice seeing the wig survive the trip looking forward to the stem cell effect on it <laughs> all sounds too expensive it's, it's very expensive why is it illegal in the u.s probably could like fda and all that approval stuff they have to go through and moral reasons and whatnot and law existing laws hope it goes well for you i'm super stoked i'm excited man just arrived what's happening grabs traveling yeah um i'm doing my stem cell therapies so we are therapeutizing our body with stem cells and uh, hopefully, we come back new and improved. Can Laura get stem cells? I don't know. You're gonna do a meet and greet for the four people that know you're in Medellin. Is anybody here in Medellin? I don't know, man. Like, are there any people in Medellin who know me? I don't Because usually, like, it would be Bogota, because Bogota's like the capital. Did you touch grass? No, I have not touched grass yet. Hope they work so I can watch your immaculate deadlift form that will never re-injure you. Thanks. Um, ASMR scratching. Oh, I'm sorry. I was I was scratching the microphone. My bad. My bad. But yeah. So uh, that's the short update. I you guys want me to do another stream today after I do the IV stuff? I could do that and uh, get you up to date. Absolutely. Do it mid treatment or no balls. See, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm. You know what? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do it mid-treatment. I'm not sure. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I mean, guys, there's nothing to see. It's literally going to be me sitting in a chair with an IV in my arm. Like, do you actually care about that? Stop that story. We know you're doing coke over there. <laughs> Did you get any food restrictions? Oh, crap. A crap ton, dude. The worst one is no caffeine. That's, I mean, that's why I haven't had coffee for like the last few weeks, even on stream. 
other than that, can't have ginger, can't have garlic, can't... There's, there's a few food things I can't have. How is it over there? Pretty nice. Really nice city. Like, beautiful city. Yeah, we're gonna be here. I think uh, I leave on Saturday. So Saturday is, uh, I'm gonna leave. And then I'm gonna be back in Brazil Sunday. And then I'll probably stream on Monday. How would ginger and garlic affect the treatment? Good question. I think they might have blood thinning properties. I'm not sure. Are you gonna visit other cities? No, no. No garlic, are they vampires? <laughs> yeah, um, I think they have blood thinning properties. Because there is gonna be, um, what do you call it? I am gonna be sedated. Very mild sedation for the, for the spine of the neck and the lower back. Also, they tell me I have a partial tear on a ligament in my lower back, which I never knew about, so they, they found that. So there is that as well. It's something I wasn't aware of having. I'm becoming a vampire. Couldn't eat those before my liver surgery either. Gotcha. So, yeah, overall, it's been pretty fun. And uh, I will try to keep you guys posted. Yeah, for those who haven't seen, here's the proof that I'm going there. See, look at that, look at that. Bioaccelerator in Medellin. So you have you have proof of uh, of the place I'm at and what I'm doing. So no more, no more theories about me getting hair surgery chat. Look, the hair is real. There's no doubt about it, okay? I'll see you all later or tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another stream today or not. I might, I might not, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do my, my own stuff. Good luck at it. Well, it's not really surgery. It's more like injections. Although it is like, like ultrasound guided injections inside the spine. So it is kind of surgery-ish, eh, debatable. Gotta pay for the stem cells, check, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, friends, have a good one. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you all either later today or tomorrow. And until next time, you know what it is.